So guys, uh, welcome. More Tell Me Why Part 3 of this campaign series story. Cannot thank you guys enough for the love and support you guys have been treated so far. Uh, I've been right now currently been fixing my audio and my commentary issues. Uh, I know it doesn't seem like it now. Uh, just wanted to make sure I got the better, you know, um, commentary explained it very well and all that stuff though because I don't want my... Um, my commentary have a little glitch or a little static or something like that. I don't know. So I don't know how you guys explain it though. But hopefully, you guys, this hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Hopefully, got my voice sounds good. And uh, with that being said, let's continue where we left off, you guys. Let's do it. All right. So we're playing as Allison on this part. All right, nice. So we're about to meet up with Tessa. I'm guessing on this video. Uh, this gas station here. It's all winter here, man. Look at that. I cannot get over how amazing the graphic is. This is my first time playing as a creator that created Life is Strange. Never thought that I would be sharing it here on the channel, you guys. So, but let's do it. Hey, you. Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying co-worker I was telling you about. I was there for your introduction of marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying co-worker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry. She told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24-7, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. Cannot wait for us to get out of here. What's that? Uh, maybe you're gonna be roommates? He wants to move to... Oh man, I don't know. Um, uh, Michael is moving to Juno too. We were thinking of being roommates. Oh, okay. Thinking about it? You better not be backing out on me. The only thing that gets me up some mornings is marking one more day off the calendar. <laughs> Don't worry, she won't. We'll get the house sold and you guys can move on. There could be room for you too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> <sighs> Are you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up. I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool. Most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide first. I'm not... Ugh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. Alright, um... Yeah, this is the one that she explained. She explained on the cutscene. Vinny, Vidi, Vinci's general store. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. Alright, so now we can run. That's cool. All right, so bound to meet. Already met the coworker. I don't know if we're gonna be meeting Tessa on this video. Uh, let me just explore. I kind of got that Walking Dead Telltale series vibe right now. I mean, this whole series. I know that the same creator that created this created. I mean, invented um, Life is Strange, which I've never played actually. Uh, let's look at this. Delos Crossing. Which I never played actually. Yep. Is it really that big of a shock? He owns the only store in Delos Crossing, and he's chummy with the old boys club. Uh, I guess. He never really struck me as having ideas. And he's not exactly charismatic. Oh, wait, what? There's a little memory thing here. I didn't see that earlier. Tessa's I cafe. I want to have the crispy and noodles and spring rolls. And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Oh. 
Mm. Man, I miss Tessa's cooking. She still make those, what are they called? Fried banana rolls? Oh, well, we got another one. Around? Right. Mm, no, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. Hold up, okay. I want to make sure if they stop talking because I don't want to interrupt them. That's the last thing I want to do. I hate that. Hey, Ollie! Look! I'm the ruler of this kingdom! Get it? Because it's a dome? <laughs> You're going to fall, stupid. That was funny. All right, then. I can't believe you didn't laugh. That was hilarious. Not as funny as you getting all pouty when I didn't laugh at your jokes. I love baiting you. It was my favorite thing. I want to see what's here. Just to give a little exam of it. Hmm. There's nothing to just to examine it. Just examine anything, really. Ooh. But okay. Jesus. How do you always get me? <laughs> I'm sneaky like that. That's so me all the time. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I know it's, it's gonna be something personal like that I'm gonna say with you, to you guys now. Um, you guys are my family, so I might as well just share this with you guys. I do get scared easily. Um, there was a time where my mom told me this story that when she was about to get labor, you know. Weren't they talking about demolishing this hold playground? Up. Yeah. Tourists complained it wasn't safe. Ugh, crybabies. Playground should be ground zero for natural selection. <laughs> yep. Unfortunately, Delos Crossing is too cheap to replace it. Let me look around here. Ah, so when when my mom was pregnant with me, and it was like at least I think about the time where before where her water broke. Um, she was driving at the time. It's crazy, right? I think we're like what eight months, nine months. She was pregnant with me. Um, she got into a car accident. I know it's scary, right? And. The sign of of her knowing that you know she the thing that that the possible thought that her being dead with the car accident she felt I would say me moving and felt that me being scared as well and since then when she told me about that story I know I'm I know I'm just like running around here so um, the fact that she told me that story and she felt me inside of her like scared to death you know. Knowing that I thought that for sure I was gonna die, uh, but ever since I was scared as heck, you know. And ever since I get scared easily a lot, and people said, "Oh, I manage," and that's just you. But I think ever since, I'm not, and I'm not blaming my mom for this, but I think ever since that day, I've been scared easily my entire life, you know, and. Playing horror games on the channel, and <laughs> it scares me a lot. You know, I get jump scenes very easily, so uh, don't judge me. I try not to. Hmm, a little snowman here. I try not to, to be honest with you. I do my best not to get jump scenes very easily and get scared. Um, once, I mean, every scary game that I play here, I would do my best not to. <laughs> show remorse what I mean by that is just like that get jump scene easily but you will hear me get scared you know but let's see let's see that's the story behind it so that's why I get scared easily Should we well hello Miss Ronan did you forget something in the office no just doing some shopping you remember my brother Tyler your brother oh Right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> did you just get back into town, or...? More or less. We've been working out at the old house. But, surprise, surprise, after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Oh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels... complicated. That's 
one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Okay, so we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. I'm starving. Do you think you could take a picture of this? Look, all the good fishing spots are marked. Uh, hold up. I forgot my phone. Um... I don't have my phone on me. And you know you could just Google all this later, right? Are you kidding, Allison? Old fishermen aren't gonna share this kind of juicy intel on the internet. Let's look at all Michael, this. Michael, you want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? Is that some roundabout way of asking me to make you two my world famous pancakes? Ooh, busted. All right, uh, let's, let's examine see. this. Fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, toasted marshmallow. Are you doing a dramatic reading of a fancy ass cookbook? Nope, just browsing these fancy ass candles. Wait, hold up. That Let me examine this again. Fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate. You only live once. The holy candle. All right. Oh, what's over here? Hey, Tyler, candy or chips? You know I got a sweet tooth, sis. Oh man. Uh, always sell this much. I said chips. Mm, I'll take the chips. I think I have the sweet tooth as as, as well myself. I, I don't know. When I'm eating candies, chocolate specifically, I can feel it on my teeth, man. I think I need to go to the dentist, guys. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate way to spend an afternoon. All right. Uh, what does that say? Uh, Boomerang All Surface All Purpose Cleaner. Uh, let's go with that one. Mm, yep. Organic's better. That's the plan. I'll probably start by cleaning honey buckets, but one day I'll make it to Denali. I don't know how she fits all that in her pocket. Covered in gold leaf. It's your dream, huh? That yeah. really is one enormous There's pumpkin. Just no place like it in the whole world, and I want to help keep it that way. Hey, what is this? A giant fish with a crown. <laughs> hey Tyler, remember the Trout King? Yeah, I saw it. I thought Tom might have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a trout derby. It was a 12 pounder. That's actually pretty funny. All right. Um, I'm going to look around here. Just to be sure. I think we got everything at the moment. Oh, let's see here. Examine? Yeah, there Tyler, you go. You want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish I knew um, it sounded good. What does that say? Minute Papillion. Uh, can I go up there? Oh, grape soda. Let's go down here. I'm grabbing some water. You do you, girl. There you go. Well, that's good for you. Okay, I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. All right, so now... I mean, we can't go through here. Yeah, there you go. What's this? Can you believe Tessa and Tom were ever young? I heard that I may have a little less going on in the hair department. But you should see the rest of Delos High, class of 81. Fair enough. I gotta be careful not to I'm hit my hand on my desk. Groceries. That's the last thing I want to do. Makes a little background sound. <laughs> Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Marianne better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? 
Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. What the hell was that? I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, we're about to use that memory thing. In the world? Okay. Alright, I guess we gotta just search around and... Oh, oh yeah, I feel it, guys. I feel it! Uh, oh! I'm in his way! Oh, I got stuck! Hold up. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> uh, maybe right here? Oh yeah, I found it. I was literally stuck there for a second. All right, let's take a look at. Follow hey the guys, memory. Well done yet? Yeah, mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, what's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the Beaver Dam. Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Huh. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? All right, uh, yeah, let's hold, hold for that. Uh, Mom, can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne? Can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Which is it going to be? Hold on, I want to check this out real quick. Uh, examine. I haven't checked this earlier. Alright, look. Casting... Call? What does it say? The Delos... Dungeon? I don't, I don't know. Can I read that? No. Um, I guess not. <laughs> it's funny how I say no. Uh, the Genial Jawbreakers... Uh, what's this one here? I guess just roll of the Rodolfo. Which is it going to be? Huh. What is this here? Oh, dull sets. Okay. I said, uh, I think dungeons. Or dungeon. I, I believe I said that. Um, genius Jawbreaker. Interesting. A rolling derby. Sign up. Fresh meat. Boot camp. All levels of experience. Welcome. Alright. So we're about to find out more about this information. All right, choose which memory. Oh, now, or do I need to start calling? So you know what? Yeah, I gotta choose here. Hmm. I choose which you memory you want. Now, or do I need to start calling in your debts? Tessa no, was Tessa angry. Was. She went on Jack Thompson on. Please, her. let's just talk for a few minutes, okay? Marianne was angry. You hearing this? Marianne was looking for a fight. I want to talk to you now, or do I need what to start calling to in your debts? I want to talk to you now. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes, okay? Marianne was angry. Please. I think Tessa was. Or do I need to start calling in your debt? Oh my God, it's like a trick question here. I don't know. I, th I don't. I don't know if you guys hear my Xbox controller like just vibrating like crazy. <laughs> um. 
I don't know, man. Marianne was angry. Which is it going to be? I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debt? I think Marianne, guys. For a few minutes. I'm gonna go for this one. Okay? Please, Marianne, I'm just trying. Stay away from my children. They don't need your guidance. I'm just trying to help. I don't need help. Not from you, not from anyone else in this fucking town. I'm done with all of you. You're done with the food I give you? The fuel? Maybe you are, but the kids are my children, Tessa. Mine, not yours. Please, let's not do this here. Let's go into my office. Fine. Okay. You two, wait here. What is wrong with you? I'm still skeptical, but okay. For now, let's say Marianne was being Marianne. But once they got into the office, they both went at it, hard. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear anything after she cranked up the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. I don't know if the choices I make is correct. I don't know. The way that Tessa storm off like that, I don't know. It's it's gonna be something off. Let's do it. Uh, there she is. Is there something I can do for you? All right. Uh, what are you up to? Your fight with Marianne? <laughs> Never mind. Earlier, you said Marianne kept everything to herself, but you two had a big fight a few months before her death. Didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. <sighs> a duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. All right. Let's get a move on. Let's get a move on. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing here or not. Alright. Let's talk to Tom. I believe this is Tom, right? Hello there. Are you here for me or my cigarettes? Hey, you're more than just a pack of cigarettes to me. Uh, how is your application going? Nice shift today. Need a break. So your deadline for the Culinary Academy was Monday, right? <sighs> I turned in my application, mother dear. Oh, I'm so excited. Are you excited? Well, I will be once I know I got in. I am not worried about that. Did you give them my recommendation letter? Mmm, no, hon. While that paragraph about my salmon puff recipe was truly moving, it, it doesn't work like that. Psh, just tell them I discovered Bourdain. Then they'll take my opinion seriously. Nice chef today. Are you working tonight? No, thank God. I've been pulling doubles all week. I'm working at the diner all day tomorrow, though. You want me to bring you anything? Uh, I'm trying to cut out carbs and grease for a while. Girl, you may as well just lay down in the dirt and let the bears take you, because that is no way to live. Need a break? <laughs> Taking a break already? Yeah, I needed a moment of zen. Tessa's been on my ass all day. Look, I get one count wrong, and she has to triple check everything, like we'd go full-on Lord of the Flies if there was one too many frozen pizzas. 
Kind of sounds like she has a good reason to doubt your commitment to the inventory process. Oof, Brutus. Later. Okay, so <laughs> that was not Tom. Um, believe Tom is here. I, I don't know. I thought that was Tom there for a second. All right, here we go. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with. How's business going? How's the campaign going? Remember that one song? I'm gonna go straight to the. I'm just gonna go off the bat for this one. Let's do it. This might be a weird question, but do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time. <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on. Uh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. Yeah, I know. Right now, we're not we're not listening to anything because I put the right? music down. Think so. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> what music are you listening to? <laughs> like what I did. So. Whoa, I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. All right, so that means Should we check this one out? Memories about to pop out here in a second, guys. All right, uh, remember. Mom, stop! That's so embarrassing. <laughs> oh yeah. Tessa, come join me. I know you love this song. No, oh, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. Forgot how carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? Hmm. Huh. All right. So another memory is what to pop out. Lurking around. I don't know. Let's see. One. Check us out. Kids keep pestering me for these candies, but they're so expensive. I'll just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh no, I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay, whatever you want. There, happy? Yes, and I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close, like I promised. Tessa acted like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. I know Tessa still keeps a bunch of them in here somewhere. All right, so we saw two memories. And I believe one of them, there you go. I want to see here. Make sure I'm getting all these memories. I don't, I don't think these are all like in order. I mean, I hope not. What is this here? License plate. Not very much to look at. We got Alaska, Alaska, Alaska. Oh wow, all these plates here, guys. I remember one friend and I mean, he and I don't, he and I don't speak no more because of you know, we should see if we can find that notebook. She moving away, kind of yeah. stuff. I remember this Things person. All piled up in Tessa's office somewhere. Um, yeah, this guy that I knew, of course. You know, my former friend. I don't know what you would call it. Collects all the license plates on different states, and I remember that time. It was like at least like ten years ago or so. Um, he collected plates from California, Las Vegas, Washington, you know, Colorado, all those. You know, and I've never seen that before in my life. You know, not that I'm like judging, but. Huh. It's just so cool to have that, memories, you know? Now I don't see anything. Where'd they go? I Wait, what? I can only see them when the song is on. Oh, hold up. When the song is on, can we actually tell him to play the song again? Do you think you could play the song again? Huh, here it is. Uh, look. Aren't you running for more gun control? My platform calls for sensible regulations, but folks around here need guns for safety. And as you know, we run extensive background checks before each and every sale. Hmm. 
All right, so now that the music, I believe the music is on. <sighs> Allison, I thought we were looking for more memories. There you yeah, go. Sorry. I guess I All right, here we go. This one. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help at the store. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Marianne. I said I'm fine. Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. What do you think that pamphlet was Tessa gave to Marianne? I don't know. I saw it in Marianne's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Like, maybe conversion therapy bad. I'm sorry. Whoa. If this is true, I want to know how Marianne felt about it. And we need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. Alright, so... I'm guessing go to Tessa? Oh, uh, hold up. What's this here? Week of November 2nd, November 8th. Um, all 9 to 5s off. Buzzard hole? <laughs> um, Allison, all family. Monday and Tuesday, Thursday and Friday. I mean, I got the weekends off for my, my current job. So I'm happy I don't get to see Thursday and Friday off, Monday and Tuesday off. It's just awful for me. I'm lucky. I mean... Shouldn't we try to find something about the pamphlet Tessa gave Marianne? Good idea. I mean, I'm not complaining which day it's off I give. I get. against other people's business? I mean, let's just talk to Tessa. Is there something I can do for you? Um, what are you up to? We remember details. Hold on. You sure we've seen everything? Yeah. Continue looking. Hmm. No, maybe not. Yeah, let's make sure we've been thorough. Yo, he just gave me a sign like, don't talk to her yet. Alright, so... I guess just keep looking or maybe... Okay, so there's no sign of memories. Can we go through here? I haven't... No, okay. How about this door? I realize it here... Okay, no. I want to make sure... I want I want him to play him the song. I don't know if the song is out still or I don't know. Right. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? Um, Tessa looks on edge. How's Tessa today? She looked a bit overloaded earlier. She's a real busy bee. Ever since I started campaigning, she's picked up the slack around here. She's practically running the place. I hate to break it to you, but she always kind of has run the place. Well, now that's a matter of opinion. What's next on the campaign trail? A rally down at the harbor. The fishermen are getting pretty fed up with business as usual. I've got some ideas about how to keep the fish populations up, but also put food on the table. Grab some flyers. Help spread the word. Alright, we'll talk later. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Alright, so... About the pamphlet. Um... Dillo's Crossing. Where is Tyler, by the way? Anything here that I can just search for? So, the memory thing is it's not been active yet, so where's he at? Okay, yeah, let me talk to him for a Shouldn't second. Shouldn't we try to find something about the pamphlet Tessa gave Marianne? Good idea. What was the organization called? The Alliance Against Other People's Business? The Alliance Against Other People's Business. Alright. Examine. Let's look at this. I don't think there's specific ways just to look at this. I mean... Huh. That's so weird. Let's check through this. Oh my god. Can we actually switch on? <laughs> Can we actually go through stuff? Can I help you, Allison? Ooh. Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Examine. Examine. Only two things we can examine? Okay, let's go for one by one. What's this doing here? Collectibles, uh, PS Pigeon? Alaskan man driver. Ah, 
2004. Anything interesting? All right, um, June, June, uh, twenty-four dollars from Mio at the restaurant paid off. For September, eleven bucks stall for the kit. Oh, it's funny how Allison is just right there and Tessa was right behind her. And like nobody did. Yeah, you can look through my stuff. Um, fifty bucks for February paid off. February's debit debt. Twenty bucks for gas paid in full. Huh. Oh wow. What does it say? No show. It looks like Marianne started flaking on her debt in October 2004. Five months before that night. 50 bucks for gas paid off. 37 groceries plus 30 bucks new jacket for Allison paid off. Helped at store. Uh, $21 for medicine paid off. 40 groceries paid off. Helped during rush inventory. 140 for washing machine repairs. No show. 55 bucks, no shoe, new shoes. I was gonna say, uh, I said no show, no shoes. Excuse me, I can't talk. Uh, check bounce, December, no show, not returning calls, and January, no show. So that's all we can actually go through right now. Hmm. I think that's about it. I don't know if I was gonna show a little cutscene after this or not. Hmm. There's a logo on the right hand corner. Does it want me to s Can I switch this on? Uh, Tessa, is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. All right, uh, Alliance for Traditional. Your order has been shipped. Thank you. What is this? What if I tell you the government own you ten thousand cash to go to school? This is not a loan. You won't have to pay back. Oh, this is not a scam. <laughs> Already feeling it. Take it seriously. Click below. Oh, wait, wait, hold up. Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. Wait, what? Is that what she recommended for Tyler? I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, Tyler. Yeah. Let's see how Tessa explains this one away. What is that? Okay. Ten powerful Christian quotes that would change your life. A parent's guide to prevent same attraction. 2015. I think we've seen enough. Yeah, we've got a good sense of what went down. Let's talk to Tessa. All right, here we go. Are you sure about that? Uh, why not? Is there something I can do for you? I remember the details. We're back with details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. Marianne, in one of her days, you were trying to... I wasn't cooperating. The two of you started arguing, and you went in the office and cranked up that song you both loved. Hmm. And when was that? Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. Um. April 2004. Isn't that when she stopped trying to pay off her debts? Mm-mm. No, that doesn't sound right. We were still on good terms then. So you did end up on bad terms at some point? When? I honestly can't pinpoint the exact moment. But she got harder and harder to be around. I'm sure we never fought about money, though. I, I could see that she was struggling. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. You were mad as she bailed on you. You told her about the camp. She was done being judged. Remember the day she was supposed to help you get ready for Bible study? And she showed up hours late and totally wasted? Was that it? I'm sorry. I'm really trying hard, but I just can't remember. Your mother acted erratic for months. We fought many times. Was it ever about me? It was always about a lot of things. She was struggling with everything at the end. Did you try to convince Marianne to send Tyler to some kind of program? No. And I think you should go now. Tessa, I'm here to figure out if Marianne tried to kill me because of who I am. Do you get that? I do. I just... Then why won't you help me? I truly don't understand what went on in her mind that day. And it will always be my deepest regret that I didn't see it coming. I hope you find your answers. I really do. I pray every night for you, too. But I... I have a lot on my plate right now. So I need to ask you to leave. 
Sure, we'd hate to be a burden. Can we have our groceries? Ah, uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, thanks. Bye, Tom. See you later. What are you thinking? Just trying to wrap my brain around all that. She led us on a bit of a conversational snipe hunt, didn't she? Yeah, but it's kind of an answer, right? She didn't want to admit what they were fighting about, which makes me think it was me. You spooked her with that talk about the program. I think Marianne really was trying to figure out how to support me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge. You may be right. Yeah. She stood up for me, Allison. She was still crazy Marianne, but she saw me. I feel lighter. Like I've been carrying something around for the last 10 years and now it's gone. I... I'm really happy for you. But... That just opens a whole new box of Pandoras, doesn't it? Yeah, a whole damn shipping crate full. Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop, thorough. I'm sure he's got something. 